Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Aquas Light. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a basic setup of Aquas Light and give you a brief overview of uh, some of its features. So as you can see I have an almost empty scene. Uh, in fact I already have a terrain in here that we're going to use as a basis for this tutorial. Um, it's currently deactivated, so I'm just going to enable it. Uh, so it's it's nothing special about it. Just quickly prototyped it, and uh, now we're going to have a look on how we can add some water to this using Aquas Light. Now, as you see, Aquas Light is um, the only asset I have imported here. You can see it in the project manager. And to get our water into the scene, all we have to do is click the Aquas Light folder. We're going to go into the prefabs folder, and here we have a prefab called Waterplane. We're simply going to drag and drop that into our scene. Now it's totally out of position. Let's quickly, let's quickly uh, get it down here where we want to have it, something like that. And now we can position it where we want to have it, and we can also scale it as we like. And um, that's pretty much it for a start. Now, once you got your water plane as you want it, um, you can go ahead and uh, alter its parameters until it fits your exact needs. So, yeah, uh, well, to do that, uh, all you have to do is really select the water plane, either in the hierarchy or in the scene view, and then in the inspector, you see that we have uh, the Aquaslite water material uh, that uses the Aquaslite shader. And if we expand this, we can see all the shader properties that come with default values, but you can change them as you like. Um, and um, in order to see better what's going on here, uh, we want to activate animated materials in, uh, in in edit mode so we don't have to always click play just to see how the water behaves so to do that we simply click this little icon over here and uh, once we click that we can click animated materials and now our water is going to animate all the time oh no I deactivated everything let me quickly reactivate it, and there we go. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we already have some some neat looking water. It has uh, a specular reflection. It has um, environmental reflections, a mirror reflection. We have um, color absorption, and we have a soft shoreline. Um, now, in fact, this texture on the on the terrain looks awful. Let me just quickly. Um, scale it up a bit, uh, scale up the tiling a bit, so that's much better. And um, now let's have a look on how we can um, customize our water. So we select the water plane and here we see the normal tiling. First it's uh, the normal texture actually. Um, Aquas Light comes with a default normal texture. You can switch that to another normal texture if you wish. Um, but this one's going to work perfectly for most situations. And then um, by changing the normal tiling value, you can make the waves larger and smaller. Um, I'm just going to leave that as is now. Um, the main color is the color that the water is going to absorb from. So if you change that, you can see that uh, it changes uh, the overall appearance of the water. You can set the a deep water color which is a threshold for the color absorption to whatever you like so I can take a, a brighter blue if I want I can I can have it a black which is actually the most realistic um, but you can use it really for anything you like you, you can actually have red water or green water whatever you like so um, once you have that that's it now there's a lot of values that you can change for instance there's uh, the, the fade for for the color absorption there's the density of the water depending on what you want if you want a very very um a very clear water where you can see uh, the bottom of your lake or your water whatever 
whatever it is you have. Um, set this down. If you want a denser water, you can scale this up. Um, you can change the depth transparency. Yeah, then you can also change the shore fade. And if you change those values, you see that the shoreline becomes either too strong, too defined, or it becomes invisible. You can change that by uh, changing the foam contrast, for instance. Uh, so there, there is, there really is a lot to play around with uh, when you uh, use Aquaslide. So um, take some time, see what you can do, what you want to do, and uh, yeah, you know, that eventually you'll get the hang of it. Um, here I can um, change the the wave speed. I can make it uh, quicker, or I can change the directions. Uh, I can make it very fast if I want, but that's uh, not very realistic. Um, one last thing uh, I want to show you is the reflection. We have here you see a checkbox called enable reflection. If I disable it, we don't have any reflections at all. If I enable it, we have uh, reflections on the water. And uh, with the reflection intensity, we can we can control how much reflection we want to have. We can control how distorted the re reflections should be. Um, we can control the specular intensity. If we scale this up, we get a very, very bright, almost unrealistic reflections. So usually I keep that to something like one. Uh, specular color, gloss. It's, it's really the, there is a lot of there is a lot of, uh, of stuff you can play with. Uh, light wrapping to make um, your surface smoother and 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 you know like like get rid of, of uh, visible normal textures. Um, yeah, refraction. So yeah, um, in fact there is there is it's it's a matter of of playing around and see what works for you, what you like, um, what you don't like, um, and to make it fit your environment. And uh, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Now we can quickly go to game view if you like and see what it looks like. But it looks like uh, the scene view, so um, no use in actually uh, showing what it looks like. Yeah, that's our water with Aqua Slide. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you liked it, please um, leave a review. That would help a lot. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and uh, or leave a, a message on the forum. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.